Hey everybody, we're going to look at one of my favorite features when recording MIDI today. This is uh, something that is not just in Logic, but it's not in enough places. It's super awesome. What it is, is called Capture Recording, and it really is something that is designed underneath the hood. Essentially, Logic is always recording MIDI. If I push play in here, it just recorded that MIDI, even though we didn't actually record anything into a track. It's always doing that underneath the hood. So let me show you a little bit. And the reason why I like this, I think it's because when I'm recording, there's this psychological shift. And you, you can disagree if you want, but I feel like if I know I'm recording, there's this added pressure. And if I know I'm just playing, well then I'm just having fun, and sometimes I get awesome performances that way. So let's look at this. I've got this little Akai with me, and I'm just gonna play. I'm gonna play along with this drum beat that we've got going on here, one time through. And I can turn on or off the click. I'm gonna leave it on for the moment just so I can have that extra bar, or kind of a cool thing here, even though I want the second bar on, let's just use that drum beat to give us the count in as well. So not even the best performance, but I didn't feel like I was recording. I didn't know that I was recording for you, but oftentimes when I'm playing like this, I can just loop it, keep on playing, improvising anything I want. And here's where we do the actual capture recording. Normally I have it already turned on, but I wanted to show you. Let's customize control bar. Down here we have this option called capture recording. An additional record button shows up with a little loop around it. Now I can just push that and it brings in the recording that was essentially just played, non-record mode, but just played. So let me show you again. I'm just gonna push play out here. Let's go into the actual piano. So I just played that and it recorded it. Now, keep in mind that when we're doing this, a couple things are happening. One, you have to have the track armed and you have to have it selected so that it knows where it's going. You could see I had this one selected originally. And it actually doesn't know how to do that with the drummer track. And there we have it. So the other thing that this is really useful for is if you're in a session with a musician recording MIDI and say you do this thing where you push play and they're just playing along and at the end, you're like, wow, that was the perfect take. Well, even though you didn't record it, maybe it's just a run through. Now you can still have it. So that's a great thing to do with this as well. Okay, that's capture recording. It's really simple. 
That's all we want to cover today. Hope you had a good time and we'll see you tomorrow.